Hi everyone, this is Marty and welcome to the next WordPress Direct video in the 30 day challenge. In this video, we're gonna show you how to add your first content to your WordPress Direct blog. We're actually gonna do two things. We're going to fill out the brief description field, um, which some people call the meta keyword description. That's the SEO term for it. And then we're also gonna add the first post to the blog uh, so that it's ready to go and get ranked in the search engine. So after you're done today, your site will be ready to get its, uh, to get its first look at us by Search Engine Spider and get ranked. Um, now, before I move on to uh, the part about putting the content there, I wanna first uh, talk to you a little bit about uh, if you need help with any of the things in WordPress Direct, you can go to uh, this link and that will get you to the support desk. Uh, we have people manning that all the time and uh, we absolutely answer every ticket and try and get to everyone as quickly as we can. So if you need help with anything, please do um, use that uh, link to file a support ticket and we will uh, attempt to answer you as soon as we can. So now let's go back to where we were at the end of our last um, video. We had just put up our blog and it didn't have any content on it yet. So, uh, switching over to WordPress Direct, this is now what our site looks like. Uh, it now has a listing for the VIP Vacations Club site that we created. And if we just go look at that site, you'll see it's uh, there, but it doesn't have any content, and none of the categories show up. So that's what we're gonna do now. Uh, first, we will go into the website settings by clicking this link and now you will see a page that allows you to control sort of the overall settings. This is what was typed in when we were um, uh, creating the site and you'll see now we have this brief description um, over here that it wasn't filled out and so I've drafted a brief description for it and I'm just going to copy and paste that from here and this description is what shows up um, in the search engine listing if you um, uh, after your domain so um, this is this text is somewhat important you want to make sure people understand what your site is about from it and it also should have a good sprinkling of your keywords in it so let's take this and paste that right into here and this will be our brief description of our site. Uh, we'll go down and save that change. Now, I recommend that you do that fairly soon after setting up the site because um, it's likely that once you post your first article, you will get indexed fairly soon and you want that description to be in the Google index. All right, so now that information was updated. The next thing that we're going to do is we are going to pick on the right post function. Uh, we currently have no posts here and what I've done is I've gotten an article written for this site all about Grand Vacations. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste this. Copy and paste the top. Into here. and then grab the rest of it paste that in here now the other thing I want to do here with this article is this article is sort of opt is loaded with Grand Vacations Club which is my main keyword um, I'm going to want to find that keyword and bold it and if I can find another um, instance of it, then I'm going to underline that one. You only really need to do one or two of these. But we are telling the search engine spider that this is a term that um, is has some emphasis placed on it. So... Um, 
take at least one instance and either bold or underline it. Um, then for our tags, we're going to want to use our same uh, keyword phrase, Grand Vacation Club. And now in this case, I have my theme keyword and I did not put the theme keyword in when I made the category keywords. Now it's a good idea to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this post. And I'm going to show you how to add a category. And then we're going to assign this post to that category. So under Manage Categories, let's go and add a new category, which is our um, theme keyword. Um, in this case, there is no parent category. You, you, categories can be a, a hierarchy in WordPress. Um, on all the examples we're going to do, they're all going to be flat. Everything's going to be at the top level. Once we add this category, you'll see that uh, we now have Grand Vacations Club as a category on the blog. In order to um, alter that post and assign it to that category, we'll go into Manage Posts. We'll edit this. And now you can see we have Grand Vacations Club available. So we'll click that one and save post. Now the other thing that we're going to want to do here is um, click this Make It Sticky. Now this is our main piece of content that's optimized for our theme keyword. We want this always to be at the top of the blog where it's going to get the most attention because this is going to be our greatest uh, sort of selling article for whatever product it is we're talking about. So you want to click that sticky, uh, make it sticky. Um, and then once you click that, the, it'll, it'll toggle to the other option, which is to unstick the post. This will make sure that this article stays at the top as other content gets posted to your blog. And uh, you'll see that um, a little later in the challenge. Now, um, let's go to the blog and refresh it, and now you'll see what it looks like now that we've posted our article. So you can see that we have now our category Grand Vacations Club. As we add more content, we'll have more categories listed here. And then we have our article, all right? And we have um, some uh, things that allow it to uh, be socially bookmarked and it's had Technorati tags added to it. Um, so this is all ready to go. Now the next thing that uh, you'll be shown is how to start putting um, offers and uh, banners on here. Um, and we'll be doing that uh, in another video coming up in the challenge. Uh, for now, if you want to see the rest of the videos in the 30 day challenge, just go to 30daychallenge.com. So again, this is Marty for WordPress Directs. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.